I can attest to the theory that dogmen migrate from area to area, have witnessed it with my own two eyes, and it's the most marvelous sight. The speed, the power of these creatures, purely majestic. But hold on before I get started, let me tell you a little bit about me. I've been a field researcher for five years, started as a Bigfoot researcher. When I saw Dogman for the first time, it left me absolutely flabbergasted. So I continued to search, not on Facebook or on Reddit, but in the field. And that's where I learned that there are other entities, spiritual entities, that roam the woods with these Dogmen. And on top of that, there are some absolute anomalies that seem to rotate in the Dogman territory and run them away. This is a quick story about one of those terrifying anomalies. I'm in Kentucky, far west side of Daniel Boone National Forest, camping. Now back then when I was doing this, I wasn't sure if Dogman in this area were migratory. It was the entire purpose of this trip. I was there to discover evidence of a migratory pattern. It's just before sundown and to be clear with you, I've been to this very same spot many times before. And I knew without a doubt this was Dogman territory. And if you've ever been to Daniel Boone National Forest, you know that this is some treacherous, treacherous terrain. Because of that one terrain issue alone, I always pitch camp on the edge of this cliff. Well, that way at least I can hear them if they come up from behind. This evening I had just got my camp set up and I noticed some movement in the trees at the base of the cliff. But it looks like a giant triangle moving through the trees. Then it hits this clearing and I get a good view of it. Now it's hard to say how tall it was from my elevated position, but it had this gray skin with these kind of black spots and marks on it. And you can see the bones shifting and moving under that skin, walking on two legs, but with these short, awkward, choppy steps. I watch from an elevated position as this thing moves in circles, expanding further and further out each time. Now, by the time the sun had completely set and it was pure darkness, I had watched this thing for over 35 minutes. Now, to me, that's when all the weirdness started. Understand, I've been at the same spot before. I know there are dogmen in the area. I've spent the night here and actually smelled them. But that night, the woods were quiet. I mean, dead silent. The next day, the woods were still quiet dead silent like everything every cricket every frog every lizard every snake every bird everything had evacuated have you ever heard the saying that silence is deadly well it takes a lot to scare me out of the woods i've been face to face with bigfoot and didn't go anywhere but this silence was different man it was unlike anything i'd ever experienced straight up ran me out of them woods check this out a week later, I'm talking to a witness who lives 60 miles away from the area where I camp. And he's reporting to me that he saw the same thing, a triangle-headed creature circling his property like it was looking for something. Now, according to that witness, the creature saw him. He pointed a rifle at it, and it just ignored him and kept moving in circles. This is something I had never spoken to any other researcher about. And on top of that, I had never heard any other person talking about it until I was listening to it here on this channel. And the only difference in what was described here and this thing that I saw with my own two eyes was that it didn't sound metallic. Neither did it look metallic. It was flesh and blood, gray skin with black marks. And even from a distance, I could see the bones moving under the skin. Now, I don't proclaim to know exactly what it was, and I'm not sure if I really, really want to find out. Understand? This thing was roaming in the heart of Dogman territory. And to me, it seemed like all the Dogmen evacuated. What the hell is out there that can scare a Dogman? 